Adriano de Souza Ross with a huge opportunity now, but the same could be said about Owen Wright. Yeah, this is going to be such a good heat. You could argue that these next two heats are the heats of the day. Gabriel Medina and John John coming up after this, but with Gabriel, uh, with Owen Wright, made a note to himself. You know what? I'm going to just go ahead and, and, and free my mind and surf the way I want to, and it's showed in big scores. And here goes Owen now, looking to get off to a quick lead. Drives into this first section, bit of foam on the face, but not a problem for Owen as he drives into that second turn. Unloading some of that power, plenty of flow here, mixing it up with a backside float. And gets a decent finish on the closeout. But typically, the trend for Adriano has been a little sad through the back half of each season that he started well, but not this year. Here's the replay of Owen's first wave. Good warm up for Owen. This is a 6.5, and that's spot on. That turn was nice. If had he had three of those, it would have went excellent. But because the way it went a little slopey uh, throughout the other maneuvers, he was relegated to just smooth kind of wraps like that right there. Here's the section that stands up, and he nails it. So that's nice and clean there. Just finishes it with a little rock and roll float. So, you know, look for these guys to be so different. You know, Adriano D'Souza, he is going to be deadly. He surfs so well in these types of waves. Has a beautiful, powerful roundhouse. He's had a tough run. Surprised he can feel anything at the moment. It is icy so cool. on the beach. But B will get reset. Looking to really uh, push hard for an, another top 10 finish. He hasn't been there for a while. As we see, Owen getting up on his second ride. First wave came through at a 6.5. Let's see if he can... Put a solid number on the board here as he really unleashes on that second turn and links together another big powerful jam on that last section. And here goes the Brazilian Adriano de Souza. He was patient at the start of this heat. Sets his line, just transitioning. The wave starts to steepen and de Souza drives up into the lip, gets the fins free, great control. And he again gets out onto the open face and unload some power on the back foot. That's a solid start for Adriano. He's really lifted. He's surfing with that pressure of staying in the world title race and not looking shaken at all here, Ross. Well, this is that first turn I was telling you about. That's that beautiful wrap that, own, that Adriano owns. And you know what? Amazing variety too. Pretty cool that he got to slide the tail right here. Definitely mixing it up. And then that wave was dreamy. It just gave him one more nice little layback hook before it closed out. So beautiful variety. He had a solid three different turns there. But Owen just a little more oomph, as he should. You know, he's a bigger guy, six foot three. This guy is a beast, but he's just got beautiful technique. He looks so, he's so clean. And I love that last maneuver, especially from the straight on view. You can really appreciate how fast he's going. He really got that board upside down and hooked it around nicely. So well, it's very interesting for the judges how they're gonna dissect those two. Just looking back on his year so far, it was earlier in the year he had a pretty high heat score total get things started. We'll come back to that as De Souza finds some vision and he gets plenty of cover as he moves through to the inside now looking for a solid finish on his second ride and he likes it. It feels good. Whatever rhythm Mick Fanning was missing in his quarterfinal heat, Adriano De Souza certainly isn't missing it at the moment. What a terminator. And this is exactly what he did in lowers. You know, he kept going up against the big names and just took them down. He sweeps the legs so well. Uh, you know, Adriano de Souza, great time in there, not a super deep barrel, but that wave was fast, so he had to keep his speed up. Gets tucked behind right there at start, a little bit there in the middle, pretty nice, and then that wave got pretty lengthy. He kept his speed up, though, and finished with a floater. So, you know, I don't think this is going to be a giant score just because it wasn't the craziest barrel. He didn't get super deep, but it was nice. This angle will definitely look better tucks in he stalls that right arm he could have stalled maybe just a little longer uh, and gotten deeper in the barrel if he had that wave over maybe he would have changed that up a little bit but uh, Adriano de Souza is known for finishing his waves he never makes mistakes he, never, he doesn't like to play it too dangerous and, and that should be a solid score yeah you know and then for but from Adriano's point of view he was looking at the sun looking through the barrel with a really long line on it so for sure he think in his mind, he's thinking, i got to keep my speed up. This thing is going really fast. Uh, so it's pretty tough to gauge the speed. Uh, but I'm with you. You know, if, if he was really going to uh, max out the score and maybe even get like a 9, 9, 5 or something like that, he could have stalled a little bit more. But he got, he got a backup score for sure. Hashtag go Medina or hashtag go John John on Twitter. Let us know what you guys think.
who is going to take that thing out as we see De Souza on his third wave looking to drop a 6.33 with this one break the deadlock and move ahead further ahead of Owen Wright with just over 10 and a half minutes to go so the situation remains the same for Owen Wright who's out the back with priority looking for a 6.51 here's the replay of that last wave for you so pretty smart here from Adrian De Souza he didn't have priority so he's looking for a sneaky insider to get busy with, but that wave didn't really offer too much for him. Surfed clean though, as usual. Adriano never makes mistakes, and he's found another insider. A lot of speed here, and he's going to use it all in this turn. Big rail carve. Now drives up into the pocket again. Puts that rail deep into the wall of the wave. Now looking for a big finish on the inside. Just caught a bit of a lump on his approach to the lip there. But he finished it off. Seven minutes to go, looking to dump a 6.33 to move ahead of Owen Wright. So Adriano making a case to the judges, like, come on. I like the first carve. That opening carve was, it's, what I, it's my favorite uh, aspect of Adriano to surfing right here. Look at that rail, clean carve there. So that's beautiful. Another nice little snap right there. And then just a check turn. And then he did. I was with you, Ronnie. He missed this last turn. Just got caught in that backwash and had a kind of a, a little bit of a slow motion floater. So there he's, you know, begging a little bit for uh, the judges to, you know, I would think he's really energized with those first two turns. I'm hoping that he gets a QS campaign together in the future as we throw to a recap now of what's unfolded so far in quarterfinal number three. Clean start for Owen, a couple of nice snaps. You know, these waves were just okay, but he surfed them really nice. Got the 6.5 and uh, backed it up right away with a better score, 7.3 with really nice surfing. And uh, as Adriano de Souza does, chipped away, started with a nice wave, beautiful mix up. I love the variety in that 7.5. I mean, he had one of each turn there, a layback snap right here. Love that little jam, the tail slide and the carve to start that wave. So just a full platter of different types of uh, maneuvers there. Chipped away at a couple of sixes and then finally got that 7.87 based on that big power wrap. I can watch that all day long from Adrian Souza. He can draw the longest line with that rail and that is not easy to, to do. So even though Adriano's known as being a, you know, a terminator in heats and a guy that really you know, puts together number after number, that rail surfing, you can't deny it and the judges don't with that 7.8. And it doesn't look as though Owen Wright's going to get an opportunity unless he takes this one. Ten seconds to go. This next set isn't going to arrive in time by the looks of things. As our onside announcer counts the heat down. Counts the heat down. It's over. De Souza moving through to semi-final number two. Owen Wright. He'll be looking for big finishes in Portugal and at the Pipe Masters. And you can see the frustration there. All that easygoing attitude towards competition.